What's up, Comic Universe DPC, back again, and this time around I got another uh, MK11 video, but this one's more, I guess you could say, suggestive. Um, well, not in the suggestive in the sense that it's, you know, you know, not <laughs> age-restricted or anything like that. This is more like, I guess you could say, more of a topic video. There's the word I was looking for. Why didn't I go with that? Fuck me, I'm stupid. Anyway... Um, so yeah, with, um, with the quote-unquote leaked list, because we still don't know if it's confirmed or not, or I guess we could say we, it is all but confirmed at this point, um, the, um, one of the characters that are going to be in the MK DLC guest character roster is the Joker. And the Joker, while I do like him, I still feel like there's a plethora of DC villains that we could have seen, or DC characters in general, we could have seen take his place. Assuming, you know, this is, again, real, take this all with a grain of salt and all that. But yeah. So here are my personal top five characters that I think um, would be cool to see in, an, in a Mortal Kombat game. So, yeah. FYI, they're all villain. Well, one's an anti-hero, but the other four are villains. And this is basically my list, and if you think a character should be higher or lower, that's totally fine. You know, no problem with that. I'm always excited. It, um, all of us here, in fact, at Comic Universe are always excited to see um, what characters you guys would have on your list. So, as always, tell us in the comments below who you would, what MK character, I mean, excuse me, what DC characters would you want in a MK game. Now, the other thing is, I'm probably not going to do this with like a Mar with Marvel or other characters from other groups. This is basically DC, because I'm going in the vein of, you know, I'm being, you know, I, whenever I think of these kind of lists for Mortal Kombat or such, I try to think of like how real, I try to be really realistic. I don't think about like, oh, here's top five Marvel characters, because there's no way in hell Marvel and Warner Brothers, Disney and Warner Brothers are going to play nice long enough for that to happen. So, yeah. So I'm just doing DC. So let's get started with my number five, Doomsday. Now, Doomsday is a pretty, you know, pretty explanatory character. The man who killed Superman, one of the most powerful beings in the DC universe. Imagine if he ended up in Mortal Kombat. I imagine he'd be kind of a tank character, much like he was in the first Injustice game. But imagine that kind of power in his moveset, but turned up to 11 in Mortal Kombat. This is a thing that, you know, Doomsday is a creature that cannot die, and if you do kill him, you can't kill him the same way twice. Uh, Doomsday is just raw power, raw fury, and he just makes sense to be in Mortal Kombat. Could you just imagine him just slaughtering his way through the Mortal Kombat characters? Like, I could imagine, like, like his ending would be after just beating Kronika to death. He more or less destroyed the, uh, destroys the hourglass, and more and is absorbed by its time energy and now just goes throughout the time multiple timelines killing everything resetting it and killing it all over again so yeah this uh, doomsday would just be an awesome character to see in here so moving on to number four uh cheetah wonder woman's arch nemesis uh cheetah is another cool character to have is another cool character again i think her how she would play is definitely much like in injustice 2 um, very up close, very feral, and she's one of the most brutal characters on this list I could think of. Um, it's definitely a character that is, you know, is just born for brutality. She is cunning, dangerous, strong as Wonder Woman, and is magically endowed. I could see it that she is just looking for a good hunt. She's looking for a good hunt, and when Kronika or whatever chicanery brings her to the MK universe, she goes all out and is ready to just fucking rip some heads off. God. Um, yeah. Definitely Cheetah. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you guys may have not expected Cheetah, but I think she's, pr I think she's an excellent pick. Um, she just has that. No one takes Cheetah seriously, which is kind of sad. But there is just some br level of brutality in here. Just some all-around level of just sheer brutal, blood uh, bloody nature. Because whenever she fights Diana, she fights to win. And Diana has even said, "If I make one slip up against Cheetah, I die." So take that in mind uh, when you know thinking about, "Oh, Cheetah could never be an MK." <laughs> I beg to differ. So let's move on now to number three. Number three is Black Manta, another brutal villain, um, Aquaman's arch nemesis, one of the most deadliest people in the DC universe. Deathstroke himself has said, I don't want to fuck with this guy. 
Um, that's when you're coming from Slade Wilson. Yeah, that you take this guy seriously, and you you may be thinking, oh, but he's just fights Aquaman. Aquaman's a dude who could punch Superman several miles away if he needs. So be it. And keep in mind, Aquaman is just a normal man with a lot of gear, and he is one of the most feared um, enemies in the DC Universe. No one wants to come near him, he's incredibly intelligent, he's also cunning, ruthless, and will has a vast array of Atlantean and, you know, government-issued weaponry to carry out what kind of, you know, what kind of pain and damage he can do. This is a dude who murdered Aquaman, a child. This is a guy who murdered an infant. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely, Black Manta is MK worthy. Um, just all the fatalities, especially like I could see like his fatality is like he like grabs you and holds you up to his helmet and just optic blasts your face off until you're nothing but like a singed like skull face, and then just stomps on the skeleton underneath his boot or something of that degree. Yeah, so definitely Black Manta is another one. So that's my number three. Moving on now to number two, and it's this guy right here, the Batman who laughs. Now, I gotta give actually credit for, you know, because I wouldn't have thought about this one had it not been for my friend Matt Denyon, who is the, uh, for those who don't know, he is the author of the book series Atomic Rex over at Severed Press. You guys can uh, go check them out. That's definitely fun. And in a weird way, Batman Who Laughs makes a lot more sense than Joker. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about Joker. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, Joker is not much of a fighter. He's more of a, hey, I've just got some wacky some wacky stuff and a knife and a gun. Batman Who Laugh, uh, Bat the Batman Who Laughs makes a little more sense in that you could have, he's a very much eat your cake and have it too, you know, have your cake and eat it too. Excuse me, I almost destroyed the, uh, the uh, metaphor. But basically what he is, for those who don't know, he comes from the Dark Universe. The Dark Universe is like an evil universe full of evil Batman. And the Batman Who Laughs is a version of Batman who was infected by a Joker virus, by a Joker plague. It drove him in, into insanity, made him into a Joker himself, and he basically killed everyone in the Bat family and proceeded to destroy his Earth and is now just, on, just destroying universes left and right. Um, he's also, you know, you mix the intelligence and fighting sk skill of... Bruce Wayne of Batman, and you mix it with the insanity and just ruthlessness and brutality that the Joker has, yeah, very much a character that, like I said, if you want a Joker and have him be a fighter, why not the Batman who laughs, you know, mix, he's Joker and Batman put together. Although, I will say, and, you know, don't quote me on this, do not quote me on this uh, little tidbit, but I think, you know, with all the gear system variations, I have a feeling that one of those gear system variations will be the Batman who laughs. Like, we'll at least see, like, the cowl with the metal bar around it. That's what I think, is that we may be getting the, um, we may be getting, like, a Batman who laughs costume variant. Would not shock me. But again, don't quote me on that, I'm just thinking out loud. But yeah, Batman who laughs definitely gets the silver medal. So before we get to number one, let's talk about some other characters I could see in, you know, DC characters I could see in Mortal Kombat. Definitely Deathstroke, and you're probably wondering, well, why wasn't Deathstroke any higher or even on this list? Well, I think the problem is, is that, well, De I love Deathstroke, you know, you know, Slade Wilson makes very much sense in here. I think he would be, people would complain, and this is why I didn't put Deadshot on the list either, is because the problem is, is that they would probably be linked to, like, their how they fight and how they would play out would be a little too close to Aaron Black, and people would just complain that it's an Aaron Black copy. So that's why I didn't put them on the list, but they do get, both Deadshot and Deathstroke get um, honorable mentions, in my opinion. Following that, we have Gorilla Grodd, another brutal character, very much a tank, and again, just copy what he, his fighting style and in, injustice and put it here. Um, a, then we have Atrocitus, another uh, the Red Lantern Corps. Could you imagine what he could, what the what the leader of the Red Lanterns could do in the Mortal Kombat universe? There's so much just rage and violence there. Oh, he'd have a field day. Oh, Atrocitus would have a field day. Speaking of lanterns, we also have Sinestro, the uh, Lord of Fear uh, of the Sinestro Corps, and a Lord of Fear himself. Dangerous, brutal. What more can I say about Sinestro? Um. So yeah, one more, one more character, and that is, uh, 
then that final character is Jonah Hex. Yeah, superhero, or I guess you could say anti-hero. Jonah Hex, again, the reason I didn't put him on this list was because he'd probably be considered a um, Aaron Black copy. And in fact, I just love the dialogue between Jonah Hex and Aaron. He'd be like, didn't I see you before? Didn't you shoot me in the face? Oh yeah, now I remember. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so who is my number one? Well, my number one DC character that should be in a DLC for Mortal Kombat, or whatever I'm calling this list, um, Lobo. Yeah, I think a lot of you guys probably predicted Lobo. Um, Lobo just screams Mortal Kombat. He makes so much sense to be here. He's a, br he's a fighter, he's violent, he's damn near unkillable, and definitely I could see some major variations with him. He could be a tank or a ranged character or a combination of the both. Um, just imagining his fatalities, like, especially with that hook chain, you know, with that chain with the meat hook at the end of it, and of course him putting, like, maybe he puts your cig his cigar out in your eye, or something like that, just, Lobo would just be this vulgar, violent character that would just, he just makes so much sense to be in Mortal Kombat. And I'm surprised Ed Boon didn't go for, Lo if he was gonna pick a DC character for, um, for Mortal Kombat, I'm surprised it didn't spring for Lobo. Because as far as in terms of DC fighting games, we've really just had Lobo as a DLC in the first Injustice game. It'd be kind of cool to bring him back here. Maybe have um, Brad Garrett, the guy who voiced Lobo in uh, the Superman cartoon in the DC animated universe, come back and voice him. That'd be kind of fun. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is pretty much my list for a if my DC character, my top five DC characters for the DC, uh, excuse me, the Mortal Kombat game. Like who, who I think would be cool in a um, Mortal Com in the Mortal Kombat game as a, as a guest character or whatever the hell I'm calling this list. So you guys tell uh, tell us here at Comic Universe what five characters from the DC universe would you want to see as guest characters in the MK universe. Do you want to see heroes? Do you want to see villains? And how do you think they would play as characters? Just comment below, let us know here at Comic Universe. I'm DPZ. Hope you all enjoyed this list. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with it. And we will see you right here once more in the universe.